I'm Alex Jones, and I'm a radio and television host based in Austin, Texas. And for many years, I've been exposing the criminal activities of the global elite, also known as the New World Order. In past films, we've documented the centralization of power, the move towards world government, the attack on the nation state, self-defense, the Second Amendment, family values, that is, the family itself, as well as private property rights. But time and time again in my research, I come, well, eye to eye with something that's even hard for me to believe. And that's that the elite, again, the so-called establishment kings, uh, those that know best, the visions of the anointed ones, are obsessed with the occult, from presidents to governors to the heads of industry. We've all seen the stories of presidents and first ladies obsessed with their astrologers making national policy decisions upon their recommendations, spiritual guides, shamans in the White House. My friends, it gets far worse than that. You see, for over 120 plus years in Northern California, in Sonoma County, on a 2,700 acre secluded redwood grove, leaders from around the world, prime ministers, chancellors, presidents, governors, again, the heads of industry, banking, academia, the media, Hollywood, only a select few, a little over 2,000 people, travel there to engage in bizarre, ancient, Canaanite, Luciferian, Babylon, mystery religion ceremonies. And uh, I successfully infiltrated through the Secret Service, uh, through the guards, through the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department. We were inside four hours. That's only one day out of the two weeks that they meet there for the admitted summer fire festival of the Bohemian Club. Convention, and no doubt you'll be hearing about all the differences between John Kerry and George W. Bush. Uh, but we've discovered they do have something in common. During their respective college days at Yale, they both belong to a group called Skull and Bones. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go watch. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the record. Number 322. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, first of all, he's not the nominee, and uh, but uh, look, I look for. Are you prepared to lose? No, I'm not going to lose. You both were members of Spell and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322, a secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Tim, but one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction that he's taking the country. We can do a better job, and I intend to do it. And we'll be watching Be Safe on the Campaign Trail. John Kerry, thanks yes, for joining us. And we'll be right back. While in New York, we ran into the Carl Rove of four administrations. David Gergen, top presidential advisor to Ford, Reagan, George Herbert Walker Bush, and Bill Clinton. We couldn't believe our luck. It just so happens that David Gergen is also a prominent member of the Bohemian Grove, the offshoot of Skull and Bones. This insider of insiders, a staple of the White House for 22 years, got very upset when we brought up Bohemian Grove to him. He didn't deny its existence. He didn't deny that he was a member. He didn't deny the rituals. He just became angry and didn't act very gentlemanly. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, uh, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a, uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Thank thee for thy <laughs> Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But there's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't took, we deserve to know? You, you took an, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. 
But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? You, we have public officials you, I'm sorry. Public you took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put yes, them up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what, I know what the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> Sir, everything uh, you, I, I, I don't I don't owe you this comment. I know. I you, you, you you have you. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank you, you, you and goodbye. Been the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh.